something greater than yourself. You know, I was making a video today about how to make chicken broth. It's over on the Praxis channel. And uh, I thought, you know, while that's cooking, I could be making a mail day video and a weekend edition all in one shot. So I am doing massive amounts of filming today. Yeah, I'm a filming kind of fool. First on my list is from Haley. Hi, Haley. <laughs> Haley sent me a peace card. In addition, Haley sent me um, orca seeds. Uh, oh, okra. <laughs> Haley sends me <laughs> orca seeds. Oh, by the way, the weekend edition question comes from EXA9TO. I have no idea how to pronounce it. XN92? And uh, XN92 um, asks, why don't I use sodium vapor lights instead of compact fluorescent? And um, I don't know, because I have compact fluorescence. Oh, XN92 had a second question. And uh, ooh, pretty. Um, the question was, uh, why do I grow tobacco? Do I uh, smoke it or do I use it to kill bugs? Um, no and no. I smoked for a long time. Yeah, I was a smoker and I stopped about six years ago because I went to the doctor and it turns out I had emphysema. Yeah, smoking is bad. And uh, I was a dedicated smoker. I smoked ever since I was 14 years old. I started when I was young and I smoked for a long time. But um, no, with the smoking, I uh, decided that it's costing me money, it's hurting me, so basically I'm paying money to hurt myself. I'm paying a lot of money for a product that addicts me to it, and then when I use it, it makes me feel normal. When I don't use it, it makes me feel bad. So that's just wrong. That was just absolutely wrong when I thought about it logically. It's like being in a bad relationship where you give somebody money to not hit you, and then when you stop giving them money, they hit you and you're in a relationship with that person. That is stupid. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm not gonna do it anymore. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit difficult to quit smoking, but you know, I thought, it's also difficult to die of cancer. And so I thought, you know, this is gonna make me feel bad if I continue. It's making me feel bad when I quit, but the bad feeling that I get while I'm quitting is temporary, whereas the bad feeling I get if I continue is gonna be permanent and it's gonna end my life. So. I made the smart decision and I quit. I don't preach to anybody about non-smoking or anything like that. It's totally their decision. But I stopped and anybody that ever needs help, I always offer them whatever kind of advice or encouragement that I can because it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling being able to breathe, to be able to smell things, taste things, the way that I used to before I, I started smoking. And um, I feel great. I do. I really do feel great. But anyway, back to the... <laughs> Here I go off onto another tangent with the tobacco. I grow the tobacco because it's a beautiful plant and uh, it puts out great looking flowers and it's just gorgeous. This is from Ray Browning to Ray Browning. Oh, apparently I sent myself something. No, I do actually get stuff that people put the return address as my address. That way it doesn't come back to them. Aha, very smart. So um, this is from Natalie. Hi, Natalie. And uh, Natalie wrote me a letter. And uh, I appreciated that. I read that. I don't share the contents of letters because that's kind of private between me and uh, the people that send it to me. But uh, the seeds are not. And uh, what are these? Natalie, what did you send me? Oh, that's right. Persimmons are a really wacky, weird fruit that um, uh, are delicious, actually, when uh, you eat them. Some people don't like them. Some people do like them. I've never had one. But all that I've read on them, I'm going to love them. And I'm going to grow them here in Minnesota. Probably not outdoors, because I doubt if they could survive our winters, but I'm going to try and grow them indoors. I smell chicken broth. I love the smell of chicken stock when I'm making chicken stock. And if you, if you like chicken stock, I mean, come on, who, who doesn't? It's great for soups, gravies, just about anything. The smell that fills the house is fantastic. So if you want to see how I make chicken stock, go over to the Praxis channel and uh, check it out because it's, it's actually very, very delicious. Oh, I just got this one yesterday from Charles. These are magnolia seeds. Have you ever seen magnolia trees? They are absolutely beautiful flowers, insanely beautiful flowers, and the pods are just crazy scary so I'm uh, actually anxious to grow these and you can't grow them outside because magnolias will never survive our winter so that's another big thing I'm going to be growing inside you know if everything works out the way it's supposed to 
in uh, not too long, this house is going to look like a jungle. I'm going to be moving my big plants down here and they're going to be all over the place, growing in the basement, in the kitchen, in the living room. I'm going to have some really stupid huge plants growing in my house, but these are supposed to be stratified before you plant them. Stratified means you uh, put them in the fridge. They have to go through a cold period. So. Um, I'm going to see if they really do need to. I'm going to take part of them and plant them right away. And I'm going to take part of them, put them in the fridge and stratify them and see if it makes a difference. So this will be an experiment. I'll let you guys know how it works. Okay, the next weekend edition question comes from Sir Rich Star. Sir Rich Star? Sir Rich Star. I think that's how it's pronounced. <sighs> Sir Rich Star uh, wants to know what I'm going to do with the butt jalokias once they produce fruit and it ripens. Well, I had considered seeing how many of those I can actually push into my nose and um, that kind of creeped me out. And then I thought, well, I could probably eat one on video and you guys could watch me die. And then I thought, no, don't want to do that. Although dying on video would probably get me a lot of views, a lot of views. Come on, you guys would totally tune in to see me die if I ate a bunch of Lokia, huh? But um, that's not going to happen. Um, let's see, what will I do? You know, I think I'm going to save the seeds, grow some outside this next year to get even more seeds, and then eventually I'm going to give them away. Emil sent me a bag of magic beans. Ooh, magic beans. I like bush beans because I've grown bush beans and I've grown pole beans. Pole beans are cool because they like grow up everything, but I like to do them in the raised beds without having to put up a support, so I grew bush beans one year. And holy smokes, I got the most amazing harvest from my bush beans. And I'm still eating those green beans. Yes, they're still in my freezer from last year. People on YouTube are feeding me. I guess I must look pretty skinny. <laughs> Everybody's like, eat, Ray. So um, thanks to Emil, I shall be eating for two years. Oh, yeah, and a letter, too. I remember this. He likes my channel. Oh, this comes from Dustin. And uh, Dustin seems to have a bit of a sense of humor. Oh, I hate being surprised. I hate sudden things, but I'm going to do this anyway. Oh God, this is going to suck. Ah, <laughs> crap. I hate you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for scaring an old man, Dustin. I really do appreciate this. Oh yeah. And, um, this is really cool. I've actually grown these before. And check out what's in the envelope. Aren't those the coolest looking seeds? They come in multicolors, and they got little holes in the middle. I don't know how they germinate, but somehow they managed to do it. And they're really not that difficult to grow. I mean, anybody that's ever grown donuts would know that these things are actually very simple to grow. It's just that everybody tells you, oh, it was really hard to grow donuts. You can't grow donuts. Like I said, I'm here to tell you that you can do anything you want to do. All you have to do is try. And all it takes is a little bit of potting soil. Now, I mix my own potting soil. I don't buy it at the, at the grocery stores. Just a little bit of potting soil. Now, the thing is, is that there's not a real high germination rate on these, so I just throw them all in. And just sprinkle them in. Don't do anything special. Just throw them in there. Just barely cover them with a little bit of soil, okay? Normally things will take like a long time to go, but these ones are extremely fast and they don't put out a real large plant. It's just basically the fruit comes up out of the ground. It's really the coolest thing. Check it out. And the thing about this is, is that the, when they come out, they're not always round. Like this one, isn't it cute? It looks like a ghost. And then another one came out, and I don't know what this one's supposed to be. It's like, I think this, these are like genetically modified seeds or something like that, but they taste just like donuts. I mean, oops. You know, you'd never know that this was a plant. It's the coolest thing in the world. Anyway, thanks, Dustin. I do appreciate it. It's like a blob. I don't know, maybe there's a lot of inbreeding or something like that, but this one I'm not going to eat. I'll just throw it in the compost pile. This one actually is delicious, and they grow extremely fast. So if anybody ever tells you you can't grow your own donuts, don't you believe it.
Gonads are useful for their purpose, but they are no substitute for brains.